Hi, this is Lot Man Over, and this is the probably long awaited, long overdue, uh, like Star Wars Episode 7, what happened during the movie, what my reactions were. I guess this is a reactions slash discussion slash the predictions videos that I did, what was the conclusion on them. So, uh, this is definitely spoilers. Go watch The Force Awakens before you see this because. I don't want to be the bearer of spoiler news, so spoilers, watch out. Um, the video that I did that was discussing the uh, Force Awakens uh, movie poster, I'm going through, I'm answering the questions on that first, just so I can get that out of the way. Um, I was like, since since we knew Mark Hamill was going to be in, in the movie, I, I was wondering maybe if they were going to save him until the end as like a bonus thing. That's what I said in the video. I was right on that one because he made up a small cameo at the end of the movie. So, cool. Um, obviously, Kylo Ren isn't a girl in disguise. You know, I was just throwing that out there thinking maybe it was the um, uh, Han and Leia's daughter. But, you know, you never know on that. So, obviously, that was wrong. But I thought I'd throw that out there. It'd be different. Um... The poster was slightly misleading because it showed Finn holding the lightsaber, which uh, slightly misleading because he did actually wield the lightsaber, but he wasn't really drawn to it. It was just like, hey, you're fixing to die. Here's a lightsaber. Uh, take this and go. Um, and also on the movie poster, the um, the background, the, the that is the space station, the Star Star Killer base. I'm glad that J.J. Uh, Abrams kept some of the extra stuff in there that was, like, scrapped ideas for original, like, the original Star Wars movie that George Lucas was going to do whenever Luke's name was going to be Starkiller, but it sounded too violent or whatever. I think that's pretty cool that they kept that in there, because people are going to recognize that probably more from Starkiller, Galen Merrick, from, from um... Force Unleashed, they're probably going to remember that from that more than whatever Lucas wanted to do with it. But, uh, so predictions on that were slightly right, slightly wrong. I don't know. Uh, oh, I saw the movie on uh, the second day because screw seen it on the first day. And then I saw it a few days after that again, so I've seen it twice and I've, like, thought about it and had time to think about it. I was going to do this video and then I got distracted because I got a second job and I've been hanging out with friends and like doing like 50 things trying to like get my life together because it's been kind of like falling apart and dying but uh trying to get back into the YouTube world um so answers to the Star Wars Episode 7 predictions video the original video why is it called Force Awakens is it, is it the Force Awakening in Leia that's what I thought um and then the answer is kind of yes because she can still feel stuff happening but no it's force awakening in ray because ray's the main character or whatever um the video uh is ray han and leia's daughter St that's still not 100 percent answered or is she luke's daughter i'm gonna go with Han and Leia's daughter, because that's what a lot of people have been saying. She has that kind of, like, I guess that's British accent. I don't know what that accent is that um, uh, Padme had. So it kind of goes with that, and this she kind of looks like Padme, which I wasn't really thinking about that. Other people have kind of predicted that already. And, uh, you know, just because female character. And that right there told, a, told me when I was watching it in the theater... If she kind of has that force ability or whatever, then she is connected to Kylo Ren because I assume that they are brother and sister because they have this similar, like, force struggles, I guess. Um, the video I mentioned, uh, went, did, what time frame, I didn't know when this was going to take place, did Luke start the... Um, academy to train people to become uh, a new race of Jedis. Yes, that was correct, even though it was only mentioned in the seventh movie, when Han was saying something about, oh, 
Luke, he made this academy and all this stuff, and he trained, and he trained this guy, and then he uh, basically stabbed him in the back and was like, oh, I don't want to do this, I'm going to be evil, and that ended up being Ben, as in Kylo Ren, as in Han and Leia's uh, son. That didn't really steer too far from the uh, uh, expanded universe source material in the um, comic books. I, I guessed that the Millennium Falcon was going to be like a super modified version, which that would have been a kind of stupid way to go as a filmmaker. I'm glad they made it like, oh, Han lost it in a bet, or it got stolen from him, because it basically he said it got stolen and stolen and stolen and probably lost in bets or whatever. So it was like super junky and it didn't even change from ep episode 6 to episode 7. So I kind of liked that because I didn't see that coming and that piece of junk ship, it was like, cool, that's the Falcon. So when Han and Chewie say, we're home in the trailer, that was uh, basically, uh, we're doing all this over again like old times in our old ship. Um, there was no sign of a Wedge. All we get is uh, Poe Dameron. Why isn't Wedge and the Resistance? It didn't answer that. I mean, I didn't predict that, obviously. I just knew whatever. Another thing about Poe was um, the 6-inch Black Series figures. You can buy him by himself. He's in an X-Wing uniform. Or you can buy him packed in with a uh, Stormtrooper as a Target exclusive. And he's wearing the jacket. So when you very first see Poe at the beginning of the movie, he's wearing the jacket. So when he died when they crashed on uh, on that planet, then um, I already knew he was going to live because action figures spoiled it for me on that one because he was wearing an X-Wing uniform. But uh, that's what I get for watching the action figures trailers and overanalyzing everything, but hey, I'm not mad or whatever. I, it was just kind of like, you know, I know he's not dead because different uniform. Um... But, uh, why isn't Wedge and Tilly's in the Resistance? I don't know. What happened to Wedge? Do we even care? Do the fans even remember who Wedge is? Um, the general fans, not the hardcore fans that dove into it too deep like I did. But, um, overall, I liked the movie. I liked the, uh, the pacing of it. It wasn't too crazy. Um, the only thing I kind of didn't like was, um, it was too much like A New Hope with the, here's good guys, good guys fight bad guys, bad guys have this super badass uh, planet that kills other planets, like the Death Star, and good guys have to fight the bad guys to blow up the planet, which they did, and Kylo Ren still lived, just like Darth Vader on A New Hope still lived, it was the same exact thing told in a slightly different way. Um, that was the only complaint on that, is it was way too much like A New Hope on that factor. I liked um, the characters. I liked uh, Finn. I liked Ray. I liked Finn because he was totally different take on something. Stormtrooper that de defects, I think that was really cool. Um, that's something we've never seen before. All the trailers that Finn was in, how he's like all sweaty and freaking out. He does a good job of sweating and freaking out. It's just like, I didn't want to kill these people. Freaking out. Oh, he finally had to do, that was his task that he was supposed to do. Freaking out. Running away from the bad guys. Freaking out. Fixing to get beat up by Ray. Freaking out. So he pretty much freaked out through the whole movie. Speaking of things that George Lucas scrapped for the original uh, script of Star Wars on a, the Luke Skywalker character originally, or at one time, was going to be female. I think that's what they're trying to do with Rey. It's different times. This isn't 1977. I think we can get away with having a female lead character. Not as far as a alien character as a main role, but a female, this human girl, I think, I think that'll work. A lot of people probably aren't going to like that. I don't know. Um, I liked it, you know, I like seeing uh, movies with uh, strong women that know what they're doing, like 
Princess Leia because Princess Leia is a badass and she kind of just hated everybody in the beginning. Why are you rescuing me? You know, why aren't you helping us fight the uh, Empire on Hoth? I mean, it was all it was all there. It's going to be really interesting to see where Rey goes. Is she going to get trained by Luke? Because the ending of the, of, of uh, Force Awakens. Because I think that's that's going to be that's going to be pretty cool. On that, uh, Kylo Ren. Why is his name Ben? I don't know. Maybe that's canon, and I just didn't read into it. Maybe I think that's his other name. It was kind of already leading up to Han's not going to make it because he's hugging Leia, and Leia's all like, you know, they have that like looking like they're never going to see each other again. So I don't know what's I don't know what's going on there, but um, that was that was kind of BS because Han's just like. I'm gonna bring our son home, and I'm just like, that's not gonna happen. Does it happen to anything else, you know? Darth Vader couldn't bring his son home, as in Luke. Um, so I knew Han was gonna die. I knew it was gonna die. I knew he. I mean, I knew he was gonna die. I wasn't prepared for it. Nobody was prepared for it. You can't trust the dark side or the Sith or whatever the heck Kylo Ren's trying to be. He seems like he's kind of like a poser Sith. Um, but it was just like Han died. What are you going to do? I don't know. It's just like, like I went home and I went to sleep and I woke up the next day and I was just like Han's dead. Lost for words on that one. Um, I don't know. Apparently, he's still in the cast role for the uh, eighth movie, but it's probably going to be flashbacks so we can have more backstory of what actually actually happened. The Academy Luke having the Academy time frame, or Kylo Ren being a young child time frame in between six and seven. That's what I'm hoping since he's still in the cast. Um, but yeah, so Ray seems to be a good pilot. She can fly the Falcon. I think it's kind of hard to fly the Falcon, seeing how it's all like super fast and modified in a weird shape and like really getting really obsolete. That's another thing, you know, Ray, good pilot. And then that makes me think that right there makes me think that she is Luke's daughter because she has way more force abilities. She's a good pilot. Luke was a good pilot. He he blew up the Death Star in the X-wing, and before that, he was just like flying the uh, T-16 Skyhopper, which is in um, uh, Star Wars Rogue Squadron on the N64. Um, so. Luke was a good pilot. And then before Luke, obviously, Anakin Skywalker was a good pilot, because uh, he could he could do anything or just whatever, and just like, hey, there's a ship there, I can uh, figure out how to fly this and go. And then he used to with technology, and he built C-3PO, and he built the pod racers, and all that junk. So, I think it was pretty cool on that. That's another thing that was kind of cliche. A New Hope... Luke blew up the Death Star, Phantom Menace, Anakin, uh, as a as a little boy, Anakin blew up whatever that, like, CIS base was. I don't even freaking know because I don't even pay attention to the uh, official names of the ships and crap in the prequels. Um, and then Force Awakens, everybody bands together to build up the uh, Starkiller base, which that was actually everybody, so that made it different, because we got Chewie planting the bombs, everybody infiltrating it from the inside, and the, uh, all the resistance fighters and Poe and everybody out there uh, shooting everything. But um, X-Wings didn't really change. I thought that was kind of kind of weird, but okay. Um, the planet uh, Jakku... That was pretty cool. I don't know why they threw another planet in there, just just to confuse us. Like they, you think they'd just use an already existing planet because it's already like a solar system that's set up 
and everything and the outer rim and the Kessel Run and all that random stuff like on a map I can't point it out so I don't know why Jack Hughes there what was the battle there why is all this stuff blowing up there what happened we need flashbacks in the eighth movie of what happened in between six and seven or overlapping six and seven when uh, Kylo Ren was a, was a little kid and Luke was all like let's make the Academy yeah so I think I think they should do that the um, I don't know his name the blonde guy that's with uh, Kylo Ren that looks all the like Nazi soldier like guys what's up with him I don't even think he died I think he escaped I don't know what happened to him he seemed like he needed a bigger role that's why I think he was supposed to live um, whenever Starkiller base blew up all the planets um, what were those planets watching the uh, crazy predictions video that uh, the game chasers did since I know they're like crazy Star Wars fans Billy and Jay and all them but uh, Billy was like that planet that blew up was one of them Coruscant because that would make sense because um, <clears throat> the First Order is supposed to be killing off all of the remaining Jedi and the uh, the Academy, like where the Academy was located and all the Coruscant, like whatever was even left. I don't know what was left because we don't know what actually happened in between 3 and 6 when Anakin killed everybody. Is everything just blown up? They probably rebuilt it between 3 and 6, but it doesn't matter because 7, the whole planet's blown up. Uh, that's another one that nobody really thought about. What were those other planets? Because the thing went out and it was like seeker bombs and hit like 4 or 5 planets. I don't know what those were. I don't know if we can just look on a map and find Coruscant and find the other planets or if all that's scrapped because all that was scratch the uh, expanded universe. Um... So, I don't know on that. But Major Kylo Ren is just like the poser, I'm going to be a Sith, I do what I want, fanboy of Darth Vader, I'm going to carry on what you do, I'm going to build the same kind of space station, I'm going to blow everything up, we're going to kill all the Jedis, because Sith is the master race and we're just going to kill everyone. So put in the comments if there's any kind of other any kind of other uh, discussion type things on this. I might go see the movie like one or two more times. I don't know. Maybe they'll explain some stuff whenever it comes out on like a uh, Blu-ray. You can watch like the uh, commentary and the bonus features and all. Maybe there'll be some deleted scenes because deleted scenes are the greatest. Something that'll uh, kind of tie in. Um, I'm still collecting the action figures and everything. Um, I've got I've got him. He wasn't even hardly in it at all. I think he was... There, here's the thing. The Guavian uh, soldier. He was one of the guys with... Um, one of the guys that Han owed money to. One of the bounty hunters. Uh, this, like, foot soldier guys that those monster things ate. So, he wasn't hardly in it. But I still think he's pretty cool. It would be cool to see more of that, but of course, Star Wars notorious for making action figures or something really cool that they were barely in it, like Bosk and all the bounty hunters and Boba Fett and everybody that I love. But, uh, put in the comments, uh, toys that spoiled it, what were those planets, what does everybody think, Ray, who's Ray related to, um, Hopefully Leia is gonna do something cool because Leia becomes like a badass in the in the comics, and she's all like lightsaber and running around and uh, kicking butt, and taking names. But it, but I doubt we're gonna see that since she's just like I do what I'm good at. I'm like uh pff, not princess. What did they even say she was like ambassador or whatever it was, high rank person. But um yeah, because she can't be a princess. Princess of what? Why'd they even still call her princess? Alderaan got destroyed. I never really understood that, if you really overanalyze that. It's just princess, oh, okay. And then, like, ten years later, you're like, princess of what? But, um, it was cool. I liked it. Uh, write what you think in the, uh, description. 
subscribe for more uh, Star Wars awesomeness. I'll try to be more regular, but it's going to be hard making videos when I'm working two jobs and, like, doing, like, 50 million things. But, uh, thanks for watching and bye.